Man, I absolutely love this sample. It's awesome. <laughs> I want to see if I can do something with that. First thing I want to do is kind of time stretch this bad boy. So let's go to process. And then we're going to go to time stretch. Um, we're going to put this and let's put this on 32 beat. Sample is at 180. Um, let's do. Let's do uh, 170. Let's go to chop and we're going to chop this up. Let's see if we can lay this sample down. Now, this sample has kind of like a nice little mellow vibe. If you know, if you notice, it goes like this. If you notice, it has that nice little mellow vibe. So what we want to do is we want to kind of give this a nice little punchy vibe. So that way, when we introduce the drums, it matches. So I'm going to flip this sample. I want to keep the same vibe of the sample, the way the sample is going, but I'm going to give it more beats on how I flip it. So check out how I flip this sample. Uh, it's kind of going to keep the same exact vibe. I'm going to go up the pads, but I'm just going to give it more hits. So check it out. we gave it more hits gave it that double hit that's the way you can kind of flip a sample to give like a mellow sample more vibe and more rhythm it's almost like you're going to match the sample with the drum pattern so when we lay down the drums you're going to see exactly how the hits start to match up with how the drums the drum pattern goes <laughs> Okay, what I want to do now is I want to put a nice little drum loop under the sample, but I want to turn it into a percussion loop. So you guys have saw me do this in a few of my beat making videos before where I take a nice drum loop and turn it into percussion pattern. So I have this one pulled up. It's just a, 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 a regular drum loop. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to process this and we need to time stretch this to match the, the sample. So our sample is in 170. That's our beat, so we're gonna time stretch this to 170. Okay, do it. Let's see if it matches. Boom, there's our drum loop. So now we're gonna chop this up into regions. Okay, and then we're gonna shift and convert, make a new program out of this. And then we're gonna put this on, let's say, track. Let's put this. Track nine. We're gonna put it put it out of the way, all the way down the lines. filter out all of the highs and all of the lows to give it a percussion type feel. take some reverb we're gonna throw that on there as well we're gonna throw some saturation on that to kind of amp it up just a little bit Then all we do is just lower the volume and put it right in the background. So 
now we have a nice little percussion loop that's kind of carrying a certain rhythm in the background of our our sample all right so now that we got the percussion loop working to give the track more rhythm now we're going to lay down the drums but we're going to do the drums in a nice little way to get the hi-hats to back up that percussion loop that we made and it's going to give the track even more rhythm and we're going to have a variety of ways that we can do this that way we can introduce these sounds into the track whenever we want the first thing we're going to do is i'm going to lay down um, a few of the drum sounds I'm gonna use some drums from my Vinyl Magic drum kit. If you guys don't have it, make sure you guys check out my website. I'm gonna turn this into a nice little hip hop type of vibe. Kind of boom bapish, but we're gonna try and keep a nice little hip hop type, type of feel. Let's do that, let's do it. take this hi-hat right here and we're gonna put that in 16 level we're gonna make sure that it stays in velocity that way we have the hi-hat spread out on the pads in velocity okay now I'm gonna play this in and out to kind of give it its nice little back and forth type of feel that way the hi-hats is at different levels and it's not just dry running at the same level let's do it Okay, so this kind of serves as like our main hi-hat on a track. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, let's go to that hot, that percussion loop we put on track nine. So we're going to go to track 10, okay, right after that. And we're going to create another program. So all we do is just hit the plus button and give us another program. I'm going to drag that hi-hat on track 10. Okay, so now that we have that hi-hat on a pad, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into kind of like our shaker hi-hat using the delay sync. We wanna put it on a different track, that way the hi-hat is on its own track and we can kind of bring it out, bring it in and out in the beat whenever we want to. We're gonna lay down this hi-hat the same exact way we laid down the other hi-hat. Again, 16 level. And we're gonna make sure it's in velocity. Let's do it. We're going to go into program edit, okay? Program edit. We're going to make sure we're on that hi-hat we just laid down. What we're going to do is we're going to drop the semitones. Okay, so let's see how this works. So if you notice, now we have a lower type of hi-hat. And this is what we're going to give our shaker feel to. So let's go on and grab an effect. And we're gonna put the, the, the Akai Delay Sync on there. We're gonna do it from, the, from the, the controller right here. Grab the Delay Sync and put it just on that pad. Okay, let's set this to give us our shaker vibe. <laughs> We're gonna drop the feedback down. After we do that, we can go ahead on right here where we adjusted the semitones. We can go ahead on and adjust the level of the hi hat, which is the volume. Now we have the percussion loop going. We have this shaker hi-hat going, and we have our original hi-hat that we laid down in the track. So we have all of these different hi-hats we can bring into the mix whenever we want to and give the track its different type of vibe. I have a 
nice little piano pulled up. We're gonna give it some backing chords. Let's put that in chords. This should be nice. That go. This should be nice. That really, really flows with the uh, with the sample. So when it give, we're gonna give it some nice little hits. Notice how I'm gonna lay these chords. I'm gonna lay them stacked. You know, like I'm gonna stack a set of chords on top of a set of chords by using two pads. This pad and also this pad. Two layers of chords. Let's do it. EQ that. We're going to give it kind of like some notes in between. This nice little pad piano pulled up. Normally my melodies will kind of amp up the track a bit, but this is gonna play lightly just to kind of back the track up because I wanna keep the same vibe that the track has. duplicate them down an octave by holding the alt key and then just bring it down to the next octave. And then we're going to put our EQ in and we're going to separate it from our piano. Let's mute all of the tracks. Step our piano and our melody track. If I disengage the EQ, the chords are covering the melody. everything is too jumbled we can't hear anything but once we put this eq on now all of a sudden you can hear the melody pop out leave me a comment below if you can hear exactly what we did here with this eq and the melody how they went on ahead and they spaced each other out as soon as we put the eq on let me know if you can hear that amazing that's amazing bro i like that i like how this track came out man for real i like this track man make sure you guys drop me a comment below if you're vibing with the track i really appreciate it hit that thumbs up all that good stuff that you guys do if you guys are interested in getting drums like this or loops like this make sure you guys check the link in the video description it is my sound kit store link you guys can cop drums loops all that good stuff like that my sample packs are available for you guys at any time those of you guys that have submitted for the beat critiques, I can tell that you guys are taking advantage of the service simply because the beats that you guys send are getting better and better 
as I critique these beats for you guys. Awesomely amazing. Also, the beat submissions. We have a few of them now, and we're going to be playing them on the live stream coming up very, very soon. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Twitch channel because this is where it all goes down. Follow it. Turn on the notifications. That way you don't miss when we go live. I'm going to get back to vibing on this beat. This is the kid DZD, aka the Drink Kang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios, and I will check you guys in the next video.